I'm Steve Lamack from BBC Radio 6 Music, this week taking our Drive Time show out on tour to celebrate Independent Venue Week, uh, which is a week which gives us a chance to uh, really champion some of the small grassroots venues who are doing so much good work around the country. Independent Venue Week is, um, is, uh, is crucial, I think. I mean, it comes at a great time of the year, a bad time of the year for independent venues because not a lot of people are going out in January and not all the big tours have started. So little venues like this, their cash flow is quite bad usually. So to, find, to provide a reason to get audiences into their venues at this time of year is, is a really good thing. Um, it's also really, I suppose, at this time when a lot of venues are under threat and some are f struggling financially, you know, it's a really, it's a, it's a, it's a really good time to make the point that without these venues, loads of the new bands, or loads of the bands you like now, wouldn't have had anywhere to start, and loads of the bands that you were like in 18 months might not get there unless they've got a stage to um, perfect their craft on. Really. Plus, on top of that, I've met some of my best friends at indie venues. You know, just by going to see a band, getting chatting to somebody at a bar, uh, and you end up going to gigs together. Um, socially, I think these places are really important. Socially and culturally, because there's a lot of, you know, uh, information and ideas that gets passed around at places like this. I mean, even a place like the, the Boiler Room. You know, people will drop by during the during the day, maybe, or you know, will come just because there's a band on. But again, you know, they might leave with an idea they've had, which has been fermenting it for a while, and then the spark has been the catalyst has been a conversation with someone they've had at a little venue like this. So for loads of reasons, Independent Venue Week is really important.